I was going to type hello everyone, but, but that's of course stupid because I can say I can say hello everyone. Uh, what time is it? Oh God! So uh, I'm going to apologize, but hey, musicians, what can you do? And then you have these drummers with these beautiful sparkly kits that want to come, come in here, and I can't move around anymore. And then I get you know, but then it's beautiful and sparkly. What can you do? And that takes some time. And uh, without my new buddy Jonas behind the board, which you can't see in any of the cameras except for oh no. Yeah, Jonas, wave. That's Jonas who just stopped by today to, you know, help and mix, and that would have been completely impossible without him. And now I'm realizing that that camera is way too bright. I'll be right back. I, I can narrate what I'm doing. I don't, I don't know. We're going to go with... It's just the bass player. That's good. Um, the camera has been unbrightened. Um... So, uh, you guys, of course, Markus Wenzel says, Servus Armin. Well, apparently the bass player already is a fan. There you go. Um, and uh, what do I want to Hey, it's uh, me. Hello. Uh, and that's Hartmann. That's one Hartmann, but there's also four Hartmänner, right, all together. That's right. Band's called Hartmann. Come on, I mean. And the guy's called Hartmann. And then, of course, he's on the channel where we talk about Things that are hard a lot. So I think it makes total le sens, as they say in French. Um, they, of course, know none of these stupid ass jokes. So right now they're asking themselves, what the fuck did we do? What is he wearing? Why is he speaking no French and saying penis a lot? But they're going to find out throughout the evening. Um, I'm happy that, uh, hey, Ben, I'm, uh, of course I can't follow everything you guys are writing. Um, I'm happy that the guys from FGN called him and said, hey, do you want to go to this person that you don't know and play a live gig? And he's like, sure, <laughs> which he's going to regret. Um, so here we are um, with uh, pretty guitars and people in black, and they're all trying to be all rock and roll. And I'm sitting here with Le Chat, which is actually French. <laughs> or is it La Chat? Anyone know? Anyone speak French? Yeah. Un petit peu? Le Chat est sur la table. Ah oui. And... Michelle is donating two euro to go a little bit louder, a little louder, Henny. Me a little bit louder? Um, so I'm going to go with uh, Jonas, a little louder. <laughs> um, volume too low. You mean overall? You don't know. You haven't even heard the band. Stop complaining before anyone's played, OK? Um, but obviously, since you out there can hear the stream and we in here uh, having our ears blasted by the beautiful gold sparkle kit, um, um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, you, of course, have to let us know after the first song what we should change. We're not going to do that, but at least we're going to pretend that we listen to you. Um, room audio way down. Michiel, we can't put the room audio down because that way their mics, see, I told you, that mics would be off and that means they can't comment. So I'm sorry, it's physics. We can't do anything about it. We want to hear you good now. Thank you. You guys are stressing me out. I'm sitting here with a fever for you nutsoles because Leslie poisoned me with yogurt, and that's the truth, and I'm going to stick to it. Whoa. So, um, how are we going to do this? I'm going to introduce the band before they play, which is something that usually doesn't happen. It usually happens in the last song, and then they leave. Now you know. I can, I can play something before you, like a, like a chord. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Jonas, open up his uh, guitar and go. <laughs> Beautiful. So now that you've played, <laughs> introduce your band. Come on. Hello, people out there. This, uh, this, 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 this is the microphone, Oli. This is the microphone. That you have to come to this microphone. Ah, OK. See, here, not so much the microphone, okay. but le microphone. It's easy. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so bad. Très difficile, ah oui, ah oui. Ah oui, uh, uh, alors, uh, yeah, uh, we are the band Hartmann from Germany, uh, a modern melodic rock band existing since uh, 12 years. And on bass, we have uh, Armin Dondera. He was playing before with Freedom Call and many other bands. And on drums, we have uh, Mr. Markus Kuhlmann. He has actually been touring with uh, Glenn Hughes. And on guitar, we have Mario Reck. Yes. This is the band. So now you can go on. 
<laughs> he's drinking, he's drinking, he's drinking. He's drinking. Uh, should I play a chord in between? Too? Like, okay. Another chord? Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to find out if um, Mario's face is, uh, no, no, Marcus's face is, uh, am I saying that correctly? Because he's with the, with the guitar stands here, you know. Yeah. Well, your snare is kind of, yeah, that's good. We can see you, which is all that matters. <laughs> Okay, um, before we, I'm going to come over here and pretend I'm like, you know, all rock and roll. Don't pretend. This is not rock and roll. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> where am I? Uh, which camera is that? Where are we? I don't even, I don't need, I, I think it's over there. Who this knows? Who, uh, who, Leslie's going nuts everywhere. That's good. Leslie's, of course, um, I'm just going to look randomly into the room. Leslie's, of course, switching, even though she hates it. So, big thanks to Leslie, everyone. This is, she's doing this for you and the cat food that you send. Um, no, they don't. Cat food. No, but they support us. Oh, this one? Oh. No, we have, we have five cats. Six one. Yeah, six, yeah. Six. Um, so thanks to Leslie, um, and thanks to all the companies that support us here. Of course, Le Lewitt, which is Dutch for Lewitt. Um, and uh, I don't want to forget anyone. Oh, uh, uh, Dylan, wherever you are, from Hosa, he, he sent cables that made this whole room possible and we even have more than we need which is cool because you never have enough cables now we have more than enough uh, and uh, t-bone for their in-ear thing and then uh, uh, who else uh, personas uh, perry wherever you are the thing that we needed today isn't here yet but we're doing it we're getting there um who else is supporting oh my god uh, I, I was gonna say uh, uh, Vox with a beautiful organ, but no one's here playing the organ, so why am I even saying Vox? But see, I Today did it. Today the computer is playing the organ. The computer's playing the organ. And, uh, and uh, thanks to Tama for uh, sending me the kit, which we're not using because that one's bigger. Ha ha, Tama! You know, bigger <laughs> counts, right? Yeah, it's bigger is better. Yeah. More is more. Yeah. yeah. How, how can less be more? Yeah. <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible. We yeah. just, we've just chosen the drummer with the biggest face. <laughs> yeah. Look, Dan, I tried, I tried, but he's a drummer and he's, he's got more, more of the muscles than I have, so I, I, I couldn't. He, and it's a cool kid. Come on. So, <laughs> still thanks for sending that. Um, and of course, I'm, I'm forgetting a million brands that are supporting us on this. I want to say uh, thanks to Dave Friedman. Not that uh, you sent anything, you bastard, but I have stuff and uh, you support this guy, I'm pretty sure. And uh, Dave's a really cool guy, so uh, now we have three Friedmans here, which is pretty damn cool. More is more. More is more. more. You're leaving the beautiful white BE100, right? That was, yes. the, that was the idea. You can play here for leaving that. I, I didn't get you now. You, 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 you're leaving this here w for me. You brought this for me to Sorry, keep. No, you're leaving. Can you make me louder in his ears? <laughs> okay, we're going to try this uh, first song. Uh, we're still fighting a little bit with headphone levels and all this. I'm making excuses. It's still going to rock. That's the whole idea. Uh, and I leave it all in the competent hands of Jonas. Oh, who, by the way, is from the Abbey Road, some school of mm, mixology in Frankfurt. Abbey Road in Le, Le Ebirot Institut, ah oui, uh, which alors, is uh, le ah, French for uh, ah, l'Institut ah, Ebirot ah, avec, ah, avec, ah, avec le Zebra ah, no? I don't know. It's, it's, it's a thing. I don't know. I think, I think, uh, wait, wh what band is very famous for recording their, uh, uh, Pantera, I think, made Abbey Road famous. Wasn't it Pantera? Pantera? Yeah, recording yeah, yeah, Abbey Road yeah. a lot. In the late 60s. Late 60s, right. Pantera. Yes. Dimebag, Drop D. Of course. Abbey Road, yes. So, um, uh, very, very cool. So if you, A, are interested in mixy, mixy stuff, uh, check out Abbey Road because I, j I just met this guy today and he came in here and just nailed it and I didn't have to do shit, which is pretty uh, amazing. He learned that Persona Studio Live Series 3, <laughs> see, see, see how I do this? Um, Persona Studio Live Series 3, mixer uh, uh, <laughs> within, within an hour and <laughs> Persona's logo here. And also, uh, he's done there now. So if you're looking for a, a mixer in, and you're in Hessen, Germany, or anywhere and you want to pay the guy, uh, well, write to me. I'll, I'll, I'll get you in touch with Jonas because I'm pretty sure. Are you still payable? Yeah, still. I, I, I think he's yeah. still affordable. Now, of course, after this gig, ra ra every hour. Ra rates go up. So um, how about you do the rest while I go and just, just do nothing, which is very, very weird. That's a cool job. Um, I'm going to have to... Five bucks for pink elephants. Michael, you are amazing. I'm going to have to go get my iPad so I can follow the stream. You guys do your thing. I'm going to... I'm, I'm out of here till you're done. So, okay. 
What I was just saying now is, which is the right camera? Where, 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 where do I have to look at? Mute. Uh, this one? This one? This one? This one. This one. No, no. This one. No. Ah, there we are. So uh, now we're going to play some songs uh, from several albums we did during the last 12 years. And uh, the actual album is called Hands on the Wheel. And uh, this is the opening track, and it's called Don't Want Back Down.
I don't want back uh. down. Yeah. Uh. Don't want back down. So, should I go on now talking to you guys here? Okay. So, yeah, this was the first song. This is the opener from our actual album, Hands on the Wheel. It has been released in uh, late May. And, uh, yeah, this is the first track. And before I forget that, we'll be on tour uh, in Germany and a few other European countries starting in late October. In late October, we'll be touring with our Hands on the Wheel tour. So check out our website uh, at oliverhartmann.com. And on Facebook, you can find us there too, at Hartmann Band, and check out the date. So, uh, should we play another song now? Now this is there he is back, uh, the yeah. man is back. This is going to be very chaotic because now uh, Thorsten, Mr. FGN man, FGN, FGN, that's how you say that. FGN. Because Leslie had to run and uh, uh, actually give the shot to the diabetic cat. So ah, anything we do, it, no, not that one. Okay. This is not one of my cats. But um, Pipe picture. <laughs> at, at seven, she, she has to run to the cats. And then right now we have a very unqualified person on the switcher. So it's not my fault if this goes wrong. Um, uh, sounded pretty good, but you were way, way loud, so pull that way down. Not that, you know, we don't want to hear you, but so, we won't... So, so, guys, if you heard any kind of mistakes during the first song, it's just the engineer. <laughs> no, not it's the not. <laughs> Shut not up! The He's doing yeah. a great job, okay? We'll, we'll figure out the kinks. Plus, we fiddle around with your headphone mixes for freaking ever, and we actually didn't really check what was going out because we're running out of time. So everyone just cool their jets. We've got time. We're going to get it happening. It already sounded pretty awesome. What are they saying now? Are they, what's with you guys? What are they bitching about? So let's go. What are you? What? We're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Everything's we're back. straight. Mm -hmm. Everything's straight. Perfect. You know that any negativity is going to reduce your coffee output here big oh, by time. The way, by the way, is there still coffee? Totally. Okay. Can, can, one, while you're talking, I will go and pick up a coffee. Mm -hmm. Just does any one of you like a coffee too? Just let us know. I would have sent the drummer. No one needs that guy, but okay, yeah. good then. It's a drummer. He's oh. the rock star of the band. No. <laughs> you can't you can send the rock star of the band to pick up some coffee. Okay, I'm good. No. Okay, I'm good. I have. Well, who am I talking to then? Well, Ollie's leaving. He, I'm leaving, and, and uh, uh, he's a good English-speaking person. Yes. Fine then. Let's talk yes. to the bass player. I mean. So people, yes. let's, uh, I'm gonna go and ask you guys. Uh, like, ah, I, I was, I'm like, why is Torsten on that? But now I see because he's on you. There you are, by the way. Oh. Um, talk about your bass, because uh, that's I, I don't know what that is. Tell them. This bass was made in the uh, United States by a uh, luthier. It's called Mike Lull. He builds great basses. And uh, I got it second hand. I bought it actually in Japan took a while to get it shipped um, I love it it's great bass Michael all bases you want to check them out and that's it that's it I couldn't even that didn't even everyone leaves everyone goes away Coffee. everyone goes away yeah. it's just us now so how are you Armin? Um, not so bad Actually, I'm pretty fine. How about you? You you were sick a little bit, right? Yeah, I'm I'm still sick, running a fever, but that's okay. That you have to, you know. Oh, look, look who's back! I'll be back. Sporting a beautiful dark glass electronics mug, which oh, they want to have one too. It's a very, really really nice mug. Well, they can't do anything for you because they only do base stuff. Can we exchange something like like a cable and I get the mug? No, that's my no. mug. Yeah, but it's my cable too. Yeah, but I have a lot of cables. I only have one of those mugs. Okay. Do, do, you, do you want to say anything about, I don't know, gear? Do you guys have questions for Ollie? Like, yeah, yeah. If, if, if you're interested in, in the band's history, in the gear we use, amplifiers, cables, effect boards, whatever, guitars, uh, just let us know and we will try to answer them. I have a question. You have a question. You have a Rico on there. Yes. Is that something you picked? Because you like the sound or because it fit on the board? Here's a Rico by Moa, which is tiny. It's, it's both because, uh, uh, of course, I was, as you see, uh, uh, how can I explain that? 
as being a singer and a guitar player, I, I have to, to, to have a board that is as tiny as possible. So uh, because I don't like to be on the, on the mic stand with the guitar and having a board like this and singing and doing a step dance, mm -hmm. you know, so, so everything has to be in the right spot to, to, uh, uh, yeah, to, to use the pedals without looking at them. Um, so I was, I was looking for a second delay because I, I, the, my main delay is the reptile mm -hmm. uh, for using the for solos and I needed another effect delay that has got this kind of tape simulation. Yeah, little little bit of chorus effect, mm. and uh, I, I've tried many of the of these small pedals, and and the re-echo was, for my uh, opinion, the best one. Okay, when I'm looking at the board, which of course you guys can't see, we don't have a single camera that can show the board. Um, well, I'm gonna just uh, readjust this one. Here we go. Um, so when if Torsten now goes to the one that you can't see, it's called I don't know Henning or whatever. There you go. Ah. Let's do that. So right here, there's the board. So I was talking about this thing here, which of course looking at the board makes total sense. Have you thought about going with a smaller power supply that you can actually fit under that board? Yes, of course. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, this board is really, really small and, and very low. Uh, it's, it's not high enough to, to really put a uh, 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 a, a, a power station like that un underneath the board, but there are other boards now that I can no, use. No, no, no. You got something See? for me? See? Ah, I should look at the power supply. It's very good. It's very good. Oh, it's very good. So one solution you could go with is... Um, so one solution you could go with is the DC-5 by Chox, because okay. that is actually made for the Nano Plus. It will fit perfectly underneath when you screw it in. All right. And um, it's got th uh, 300 milliamp outputs. This, this packs yeah. a real punch. Okay. So that will fit underneath. But it's, got, it's got five outputs. Uh, yes. Five. Uh, it's got five outs, and of course, with 300 milliamps on two of them. And you can switch them, them in between 12 and, and yes. 9 volts? Yes, 12 and 9, uh, and uh, 9 and 18 on this one. Okay. And they make this in a 7 now, and each has like 600 milliamps or something. It's ridiculous. Okay. They make a big one. That's cool. Um, this is made That's for cool the shit. for the uh, for the flat boards. Paul Chox is a crazy Polish man who makes uh, lift. This. this has serious weight. This is a great okay. power supply That's because looking at this, yeah. you could actually fit a Strymon El Capistan on there, which yeah. is the uh, tape delay. Yeah, to, to explain that, right? Mm. Uh, uh, this this is let's see. The, uh, it's normally perfectly working for me, but of course for this board, this is really too big. It's, it's just fitting into the box very. Yeah, I, it, 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 the the T-Rex fuel tank is great, but it's definitely a little bit oversized for that. Yeah, of course. Um, you could you could also use an Ohi. Okay. Lift that. Ohi. That has an external power supply. Okay. And that's, that's five times five hundred. That is ridiculous right. power. Plus, okay. you can daisy chain them. You could have a second board and using only one power uh, supply. Can I have it again? Thank you. <laughs> Give me that. Then also over here, which um, I'm going to unplug that and plug it back in. A video for this comes, I think, next week. That's the 529. 529, because it converts 5 volt to 9. You can use any cell phone charger. Okay. You can take any 5 volt power supply that you can get for buck 90. Okay. Um, go USB in here, and it converts 5 to 9 volt. Okay. It's got 4 times 150, 1 times 500. Okay. Uh, weighs absolutely nothing. That can be in your gig bag. You can have ah, one. This, this fits into the pocket. Give me the that back. That's perfect. I actually have perfect. two of them, but it's this one. If, um, you, if you buy two of them, if you buy this one and the other one, you get one shirt for free, and it's this shirt. No, you don't. Yeah. Do, you know during the next 10 minutes, do you know you how, how expensive? Do you know how expensive these shirts are? This is actually 65 bucks. Really? Unless you get them from Mr. Gugu with my coupon code, which is underneath uh, HP, and then they just upped it from 15 to 20 percent. So my fans get 20 percent off, which is still expensive. Okay. But, but, okay. Yeah, but, 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 yeah, yeah. but hey, um, no, the thing is, you wanting to set up quickly, yeah. you can actually use a power bank and you yeah. don't need power. Yeah. You can use a USB power bank and for a gig of like two hours or something, yeah. not a yeah, problem. I, I, I this is killer. Few, this I is really good. I saw a few companies doing that now, like just to, to recharge them somewhere else yeah. and put them on the board and just go on stage without anything. I wouldn't trust it with charging the actual power supply because yeah. when the battery is, runs out, you know, you're shit out of luck. Yeah. But if you can power, this is just 
USB powered. So if yeah. you can have a power bank, you can buy one or two. Um, that's how we're actually charging the base rig uh, with the tuner and the dark glass uh, vintage ultra, which is really, really cool. So if you put I mean, that. That's a great thing, especially when, when uh, I know that from, from going on stage, doing quick changeovers on festivals. Uh, you don't have the time to set up everything before, like two hours mm -hmm. uh, or whatever. Um, and everything has to be quick and in time. And this is perfect to just put a board right there. And yeah. in any a power small power, power bank will power this. Okay. I powered a, a big Friedman board with 10 pedals with like two of these and two power banks. Okay. And it lasted three and a half hours. Okay. So three and a half hour gig is a long ass gig. And that was a big ass board. So. Uh, but all I'm thinking is you could put another nice pedal on there. That's, that's why I'm saying because you're blocking a lot of that's, space. I mean, that's always the compromise when you have a board like this. Uh, uh, you always have, have to, to, yeah, to spare out something that you could need for this song or that song. Yeah. Like, for example, now I just have, uh, as, a, as a normal real effect, I just have this phaser, yeah, the phase uh, 95. Um, and uh, I would love to have another chorus, for example. Yeah? Um, or maybe like like a, a, a harmonizer. Yeah, I, I yeah. just realized that I just realized that he's talking into the air. I just did. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Leave it up okay. to the drummer to figure that out. God, do we look stupid now, huh? If you can't hear me, you have to talk louder. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. What I was saying, like, uh, yeah. uh, it's always a compromise uh, on balls like this um, that there's always something missing for a guitar player. Uh, now, as a real, as, as uh, the only effect, I just have this phaser. And uh, maybe for another song, I would la love to have a chorus. I'd love to, like to have a harmonizer, whatever. And uh, uh, since since I love these single pedals and not using multi effects, mm -hmm. uh, maybe except the H9. This is a great pedal, really cool pedal. Um, so it's always a compromise, and, and yeah, but it's it's working. What would be the one effect? Let's take out delay because delay we just yeah. need for the for the solos. But one effect that you would that you just love, where you say, this is the one I go for when I want like a little bit out of the normal yeah. sound, not reverb, not delay, which one do you I'm go for? I'm a big fan of phasers. I, I, I had lots of old phasers from, yeah, like MXR, Ivan Ness, and, and many other companies. I love phasers. Yeah. I, 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 I can't go without a phaser. It, it's tough for me to find a use for it, except where Eddie used it just very, very slightly. Not big, but just a he tiny bit of movement. He used it in a different way than yeah. normally a phaser is yeah. used on a, on, a, on a chord sound or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's Univibe because it Univibe. combines a lot of, yeah, yeah, yeah. it combines a little bit of tremolo, a yeah. little bit of phaserish swoosh with a little bit of chorus. It kind of is all in one. That way I don't have to decide. I, I have been using the T-Rex the, 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 the Viper for a long time, which is kind of a mixture mm -hmm. between a Univibe and, and, uh, uh, and a tremolo. Um, and, and I still use, in, in, a, in a rack for another band, I still use the, the old small stone, which is also killing a little bit of signal, mm -hmm. but it's, it's got this perfect kind of wave. No other, in, in my opinion, no other phaser has. Yeah. But it's all a matter of taste. Uh, yeah, I mean, you all have different tastes all the time. You tell me all the time that I'm wrong. Hey, what can I do? We, we have different tastes. Look at our shirts. Mm -hmm. We have different tastes. Yeah, I have some taste and you have black. Okay, uh, I guess we continue and we'll talk about guitars uh, when we come back. Okay. Let's, uh, let's if, we, if we talk about this one, so to, to put it in my pocket. I can get you in touch with the right people. I'm okay. sure they would love to have you one, uh, for you to have one. That, that shouldn't be an issue. People are saying, play songs, play songs. If you want songs, people, yeah. you're definitely on the wrong channel because this, this is about gear and hanging out. <laughs> This is not a show where we play one song after another, just to let you people know. <laughs> That's not what they're here for. One song after another. Have fun, guys. <laughs> I gotta get closer. So here yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, should I start from the beginning? Okay, I make it short. Um, this next song is also from our new album, Hands on the Wheel, and uh, it's got a little bit of history. Armin, our bass player, he wrote the demo for the song, then we arranged the song and uh, decided to turn it into a duet. And we're looking for a duet partner. Of course, many names uh, were in our mind. And uh, for God's sake, and luckily, Mr. Eric Martin from Mr. Big, uh, he said, yes, I love the song. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it, do it. That's what he's saying. Yeah. And uh, you can also watch the video on YouTube and on our Facebook side. 
and the song is called uh, Simple Man. And by the way, Mr. Eric Martin from Mr. Big is not here, so our guitar player, Mr. Mario Rec, will be joining in on vocals.
Simple man. I feel like a weird host coming from off the stage. It's weird. I'm usually always in the room. Um, you have to stay close to your mic because you love the Beautiful. Lewitt mic so much. Get it? See what I'm doing? Um, <laughs> so uh, I fucked up the first song. So, yeah, I okay. fucked up the second one, so... So it's, it's one for one. <laughs> wow, yeah. hi. Um, uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I fucked up the mix for the first song because uh, Jonas was pulling down your guitar and pulling it down and pulling it down. And because it's shitty. That's well, well, yeah. That's well, what I mean, you yeah. normally do when you're mixing a record. No. You turn on everything down that is shitty. Yeah. No, it's not because it's an FGN that can never be shitty. See what I'm doing? Um, come close to your mic. So, so what, I'm, what I did is... Um, I always have, you know, the, the guitars going through the, uh, the aux and the torpedo into the mixer. That's right. Yeah. Into the virtual mixer and then out into the video thing. Yeah. Well, I didn't turn that off, which means Jonas could pull them down as much as he wanted. It was still there. It was still there. Okay. Which I noticed when we but the guitar. This is normally what should be on every mix, either live or. All the guitar record. possible, right? It, either the mixer is pulling everything down because he doesn't like the guitar player, it should be there. Yeah. So, so you want that there. installed on every single board. Yeah. Pull it down to zero and the guitar is still there all the way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's what we had here, and people were like, are the guitars too loud? We want to hear him sing more. Okay. So, yeah. come on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, both of your guitars were in there as much as possible, even though he had them down all the way. We fixed that. Now we can actually mix. Okay. Because you can't really mix when someone else is doing the levels for you. It's not should, really should happening. Should we maybe later on repeat the two songs? Actually, you know what? To close off the show, why not? Yeah. yeah. We should probably do that. Let's see. Let's see. Um, so, uh, well, let's for a second, because... Really? They're watching up there. Okay. Hey, Oli. So, what kind of guitar is this? This guitar. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is what this is this? Guitar. What is Fuggen? Yeah. Where does this come? It looks a little bit like a guitar. I am familiar with, but you're absolutely right. And this brand is from Japan. Ah, yeah. that's interesting. Japanese yeah. guitars. Are they any good? They are the best guitars that I ever played in my whole life. And that's the truth. <laughs> Actually, they... <laughs> no, to, to be honest, uh, uh, I'm working together with FGN Guitars since uh, eight years now. Uh, they started running their company, Fujigen, uh, much, much longer. Uh, they started in the 60s working for, for big brands as Fender, Gretsch and many others. Um, and started eight years ago to do their own brand as FGN and to build their own guitars with all the experience they have uh, during the last uh, 40 years and started to make these guitars and uh, there's really all the experience they had in these guitars and they're really cool. Really cool. Well, if, if one knows the name Fujigin, it's usually from Ibanez Prestige and That's if there right. was always one thing any review about Ibanez Prestige always said yeah. is the quality is flawless. Absolutely. You can say about the wizard next whatever you want and maybe you don't like the wiggle stick and all that. Yeah. But the quality is there. Absolutely. And um, when I did my uh, Les Paul shootout, watch all four episodes, uh, Les Paul shootout one through four on my channel, which I did with Andy, the guitar geek, who is not here because he has a competing live stream, the fucker. Love you. Um, then, uh, and, and we had, uh, I wanted- We will cut that out later on. Uh, no, we won't. Okay. Fuck you, Andy. And Vlad and Max. We will cut that out later Competing on. live streams. What the fuck? People all stay here because there's a. We will cut that out later on. They actually yeah. have a pretty cool live stream going on. All three channels together in their homes. They're, they're going live at the same time. And they're doing a competition where they build a, a tele kit from Toman. One, okay. one of the self built kits. Yeah. And they want to see who's faster. And they're doing it live. Why not? It's a pretty. Yeah. But you know, that's still going to go on when we're done. So tune in when they're at putting in the neck or something. So anyway, when I did that video, I uh, called up Toss and said, I want an LS30 to be in there. Yeah. And we had to find out how we can get one to me like overnight. Then we found out that the there guy- somebody running through. No, no, woods. actually <laughs> similar. Started yesterday. <laughs> the, the guy who was running their warehouse, their warehouse manager yeah. lives three houses up from where I live. Okay. And we had no idea. 
and they yeah. found out by accident yeah. on the day where I needed that guitar. So that cool. LS30 back there, which yeah, is very, very, very pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, came the same night. And that way we, can, would, we could actually put it into that video. Okay. And uh, it is flawless. All these flaws from the big G, you, yeah. you can't find on these. Yeah. That's what I really have to say. It, it doesn't matter if it's a guitar for 400 euros or a guitar for 2,000 euros. All the guitars they build are really perfect. perfect I played made. some for about 1,000, which more more like a junior kind of guitars, you yeah. know, flat top and all this. But tonally, they seriously kicked ass. And I'm going to do a series on FGN, by the way, in, in case you haven't noticed that this is the start of that, the. Um, so I'm really going to check out all of them. I have the Expert Flame on the back wall there, which is really pretty. Um, yes, nice one too. And uh, Torsten picked it. He's a nice guy. He, he, he picked the good one. He is. Um, and I've got the LS30, but they have more. They have Tele styles and all this yeah. stuff and seven string monsters. So I'm going to do a whole range and check out what's cool. Yeah. That's your signature model. That's right. So, so uh, this is, let's say, uh, uh, my own version uh, of the LS20. Like the typical uh, single cut um, guitar, but I added a few little things here and there to make it a little more versatile f for my uh, for my things that I have to do. Uh, so what what's special about it? The main thing is uh, it's it's a fifties wiring. So if anybody of you knows what a fifty fifties wiring is, uh, to say it in simple words, just the the tone and the volume controls they are connected in a little different way that you have uh, uh, a different how can I say that different reaction of the of the volume when you turn it down you can for example if I have a crunch sound like this pretty crunchy and I can turn it down with the volume without any kind of uh, add-on on the volume pot and have and have it at a certain point nearly clean, but without losing the heights. Did, did Jonas have that yeah. channel open? Could, I don't know. Jonas? Yep. Did you have that channel open? Yeah. Yeah. Could, could they hear that? Because I don't know. I'm, I'm not wearing headphones. I, I, I can do it with a, with a simple chord. Okay, show that again because yeah. now he actually has the channel open. Okay. So Go ahead. If, if you have a, like a crunchy sound, you can, you can turn down uh, the volume, but not on the, only the volume, you can really turn down uh, to, to a clean sound or nearly clean sound without losing the heights, but with, with, without uh, uh, using resistors or anything else that somehow affect the sound in a special way that I, I don't like that much on, on every guitar. And uh, a 50s wiring also has something very special. The tone control is reacting in a different way than a normal tone control. You, you don't only cut heights, um, it's in a different way if you... <laughs> Turn down. Yeah, I, can, I can't look down and talk into the microphone at the same time. Um, yeah, if, if you use the tone pot, um, you also control. You also control. And turn mids. around this way a little bit because yeah. all the cameras are there. There you go. Okay, I, I need three microphones now. Like <laughs> to look down. We'll, and up we'll and get and this, okay. people. We're working yeah. on it. So yeah, if if you can see that the, a normal tone control is just putting down the heights. And a, a tone control of a 50s wiring is also controlling parts of the mid. So if you turn down the volume like this. What? The guys are sound checking in the back, so, uh, but, but don't, don't mind. Uh, ah, okay, I can't hear that. Okay, yeah, good yeah. then. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if anybody heard that now uh, with that with that pet sound, uh, the, the the angels choir in the back. So uh, again, if I turn down the volume to a nearly clean sound, I can use this volume to to how to say to to thin the sound a mm -hmm. little bit in the mids, and that's especially interesting for when you're using the um, the neck pickup, for example. This is the same sound, just con just put down to five, as this one, if you put it down like here, it's clean, and then you can still turn down this one and filter out a little bit of the mids. Yeah? Yeah? 
Okay. Okay. This is this is one thing, <clears throat> and. Uh, What are they doing? It's just I, I don't know what they're doing. Do their thing. Uh, they, they don't we, care. They we, have too much time. They can, That's a problem. They can let them fiddle around. They just around. have too much time. They're, let they're, the kids they're, yeah, do their thing. They're sound checking. But anyway. What? Uh, why, do I have to, why do I have to move? Yeah. yeah. One more thing. Just use another camera. There's a million cameras. Uh, one more thing. Uh, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Uh, uh, I'm using uh, a tailpiece here of aluminium. Yeah. Uh, which has got a different sound than, than a normal uh, die cast or something else. Uh, uh, this is a vintage style bridge uh, that is connected directly to the body, um, which also makes a, a better resonating sound. And these pickups are different than the normal ones. Um, these are Seymour Duncan's uh, SH18. Yeah, the whole lot of humbuckers. Uh, it's, it's kind of a puff sounding pickup, but uh, without caps, which makes a different sound, more heights, it's more clear. Yeah. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, what else? Circle fretting, every guitar of, uh, of FGN has got a circle fretting. To explain it in, in a short way, the, the frets are not straight in here. They have a little bit of a bow. It's, 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 it's hard to see, but it makes a different feeling when playing. Uh, it's, uh, they made up their mind because uh, this space here is way uh, way smaller than than this space here, so all the strings go this way, in yeah this way, oh. and uh, <coughs> if if you put in these these frets in, in kind of a bow, you always have uh, a ninety percent ankle on every string. It makes just a little tiny difference when playing, and also it it makes a more clear uh, and good sounding tone because every string is always perfect um, on the fret. Uh, another thing is. Uh, they have uh, a compound radius on, I think, on all guitars, as far as I know. I, I, w I don't know. You don't know? Okay. How should I? Yeah. I have but no it, idea. No, it's, it's a compound radius, so, so you have a little more radius here to play chords and a little less radius in, in the higher frets to, to, uh, to get a lower uh, string height. Um, a special thing that I wanted to have is uh, I'd like to have vintage tuners because they are a little lighter than normal closed Goto tuners. So all, all the, uh, the hardware anyway is from Goto, and uh, these are vintage tuners who are, that are a little lighter and also help a little bit to, to make the guitar resonate uh, a little better. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What did I forget? And the nice color. That's the main thing. So, that, it's uh, black. Yeah, that is black. Like, that's like my shirt. That, that, that's like my not shirt. a color. If I would have your shirt, I would have uh, uh, took, uh, let me see, this guitar. Yeah? If I would have your shirt, I would, I would have you, taken you this You want to know what the problem is? I have a black shirt, wanna so know. I wanted to have a, a black guitar. It, it is technically a beautifully framed guitar yes. that you cannot photograph or film because no. in any of these cameras, it'll just look black. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it you just can see it a looks. Bit ah, yeah. yeah. No. No. Okay, no. yeah. yeah just stay exactly yeah. like that and play the songs. Go right ahead. Come on, I want to see that. <laughs> Trust me, I had guitars where I'm like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And then you film it and it all goes away. So I go for overly bright now, especially when they're flamed, which is why I like the, the expert yeah. flame that I have because it just shows on camera. For you, it doesn't matter that much because it, you, know, you don't sit in front of YouTube all day. But for me, the guitars need to be able to, you know, photograph. And um, it's really cool right in front of it, but I know in a lot of videos that would go away. Now, i got to ask you that, one thing. Uh, one, one thing yeah. that, that most people don't know. And turn, turn this way a bit, because Leslie is going most, to the cheapest most camera of you, the, the whole most time. Most of you don't know uh, that. So, this yeah, camera, yeah. this one, okay. Yes. Uh, most people of you uh, who play guitar and always look for this typical 58, 59, uh, 60, bless Paul, the beauty of the bursts book, yeah. Um, not, oh, not, not lots of these bursts really look like, like they are photographed. Uh, it's, it's, it's just in a, in a special ankle that they really look good. Um, so uh, yeah, it's like, like he says, if, if you want to have a good bursting looking guitar in every situation, it really has to be burst. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I love beautiful tops and all that. But quality and playability comes first, which, Absolutely. which with a lot of companies, of course, you don't get. 
the th one thing I can say about FGN is that the production quality is a as good as it gets. Now, I mean, I've got, that's, I've got, that's the main reason what, what I have to say. Uh, uh, say uh, of course, when you're a musician and you, you play maybe in well-known bands, as I do with Avantasia or as I did with Rockets Classic or with Hartmann, um, you have different possibilities to maybe work together with a company or get an endorsement. But for me as a musician, the most important thing is to play good guitars and to, to feel well, either in studio or on the stage with the, with the gear that I use. And, and uh, this was the reason why, why I decided to play FGN guitars, because I never had a guitar that was not perfect. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 mean, every, every I fully believe that. Every guitar is sounding different. That's with every brand like this. Um, one is maybe uh, a little better resonating. The other one is sounds like this. Little, let's say, uh, uh, heavier, little, uh, whatever. They'll be different, but they w none of them it's will wood. be a bad guitar. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's still wood, but none of them are really bad guitars. I'll let you play another song. I have one more question about that guitar when we come back, but they'll probably want to, you know, hear things. You want to hear things? And now we actually have the possibility of really mixing you because um, I, okay. I noticed my fuck up. Uh, I would say sorry, but then again, it's my channel and I can do whatever I want, I guess. If I want to fuck up, I can. No, I didn't. I really didn't do that deliberately. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm happy that we're going. You know, we're going. We're, we're going. Where are we going? So um, I'm gonna go up there and sky. 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 You wanna watch soccer? What? No, not sky. No, not sky. Sky. That, sky. sky. They, what? Sky. Sky. What? Sky. Huh? Yeah. If if somebody wants to watch football, uh, uh, he has to, has to go somewhere else because uh, the sky is just standing for a song from our new album, Hands on the Wheel, and the song is called The Sky is falling and this is the one where these guys here in the back uh, did some sound check before did uh, we? by the way this is the drummer yeah <laughs> this is the drummer yeah okay. and he uh, to, to to explain that for for you guys if somebody think like i i hear keyboards i hear pads and stuff like that but there's no keyboarder and he's also not in the control room we don't have a keyboarder with us today um, so we just brought the keyboarder with uh, a computer that is doing the keyboards for us. <laughs> okay. So if you hear angel choirs, it's from the computer. And that 
Now I gotta run down falling. here and ask uncomfortable questions. Um, we got it to where the sound oh. is freaking awesome, by the way. You totally have to play the first two songs. At the end, we're gonna let you play the first two songs again, okay. just for shits and giggles. I think you don't mind, because oh. then we have, then we have you know, great versions, and uh, I was uh, Maybe I we fucked up. take both versions and, and cut out all the fuck-ups and, and uh, make it I don't perfect. think I want to do that, because it's, it's much funnier with the... When I re-upload this in 4K tomorrow, I'll leave the fucked-up versions in there, because otherwise they don't know what we're talking about now. Okay. Then we have yeah. to cut this out too, and then it gets all. Now lot we're more talking about the fuck ups. Yeah, you have to. This okay. is by, the, by the way, you have to look this way when we're talking, okay. which means I have to stand. Because you look okay. wherever yeah, I so am. Maybe, maybe you can stand there. Ma then yeah. You, so, yeah. hey, Ollie. Hey! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because Leslie always oh, cuts to oh, the cheapest oh. ass camera, and we have these beautiful cameras. So, okay, how, how about I stand here, but you still look there? Okay. Um, I have to do one thing. I would please ask you to loan me that guitar for a second. Yeah. Because Michelle actually paid for Can this. Can we make a deal with it? Uh, no. no. No, okay. Well, actually, yeah, I get the guitar, you get the power supply, no. not a problem at all. We can totally do that. Because this is really good, buddy. <laughs> um, 
So Michelle actually paid a couple of euro for me to do this. Jonas, can you? Yeah? I, of course, don't hear it. Michelle wanted this. You know, one chord is five euros. You know that. He paid three, I think. Okay. There's a guitar test that the guitar geek does to test a Les Paul, which is not what Michelle wanted. Michelle wanted a G in the band. He's getting a G in the band. <laughs> But now we're going to do the Guitar Geek method to test the Les Paul, which is actually A in the band. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. As you can hear, this is a good guitar. Yeah. This is actually how Andy tests, and actually, yeah. that... Is the neck different than on a, on a normal LS20? Um, yeah, the, 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 normal LS, the normal LS10 and the normal LS20 have a little thinner neck, so the neck we've used for this version is a really fat 50s neck, the same as on the LS30. Yeah. So I'm, this is the same I'm really crank myself vintage up here a little style bit. neck. I'm going to do yeah. what I wasn't supposed to do. I'm going to turn this on. Just remind me to turn it off. Turn him off. Because I want to hear it a bit. And of course, I'm hearing delay there okay. now. That's a stain like crazy. <laughs> God, I suck today. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't play. It's, really, it's also really fast. Uh, uh, I, I was, was, was going to ask or, you. Or, uh, single cut guitars, or many guitars anyway, that are, let's say, slow. I don't like it when they're too slow. When, uh, these, these guitars really have a tack. Yeah. Um, when, uh, wait, let me go here and mute that again. So, you said this is based on the LS20. Right. And that was the question I wanted to ask yeah. you. Um, over there, by the way. Over there, over there. Um, I will, I will. Okay. Um, because the LS20 has a not solid maple top, but a veneer top, yes kind and, of. Yes and no. So it yeah, has it's, maple it's a, and a maple it's, it's veneer, a solid, right? It's a solid maple top, but it still has this veneer on, on, on top of it because it's, let's say, it's, it's cheaper to produce a guitar with a veneer on top that is good looking like this. There's no let's say, optical real difference no. between a really solid uh, 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 burst top, yeah? But of course, it's, it's, it's way cheaper to produce. The LCs don't have maple at all? No. Ah, but the LS all have maple, no, no, but the difference is veneer or not veneer? I, I think the, the, the LCs do, do have also maple on top, or are they complete? No, it's, I think it's completely mahogany. 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 Wait mahogany? a second. Let, let me let me. In figure. Germany, it's maho uh, mahogany. Let, 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 let me find out. One second. Carsten! Carsten! LC, haben die mahogany tops oder net? Ja, haben die. Haben die irgendwas maple? Yes, they have. Okay, we just uh, googled it. Um, so the, uh, the um, yeah, we have Google. We have Google in the control room, <laughs> Mr. Google. In, in Hessisch. Um, so Hello, Mr. Google. <laughs> so the um, uh, the LCs are all mahogany. The um, <laughs> Mr. Google. He actually owns Google. You can the guy ask him. You can, you can ask him fucking everything you like. <laughs> yes, he's, he has money. Yeah. <laughs> he owns the world. Um, so um, but then the LSs have maple tops, just in different degrees. And starting at the L the LS thirty is the one that has. The full maple with the flame all the way through. Then again, That's who gives right. the flying there's, rat's ass? There's no veneer on top. Yeah. It's like it's, it's just a solid yeah. maple top, and that's why they also look very different. Each one is very personal, I think. Yeah. yeah. So, but tonally, obviously, it doesn't make a difference whether it's a veneer Nothing. top or not, no. as long as there's still maple cap underneath, yeah, which I mean, this it's, has. Uh, it's 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 all a matter of, of let's say of of, of uh, uh, the quality how they make the guitar, the glue they use. And everything else. So if, if it's made in the right way, there's there's no different in the sound. And as people are going to ask, because it's a thing I look for, the dots are centered. There's actually guitar companies that can't do it, mm -hmm. where the dots are like you know all the way at the bottom of the binding. Because the Japanese people don't drink while working. <laughs> um, so uh, something that I, I have to say this. I'm sorry, Torsten's going to hate me. Um, the one thing that I think stands out on the Maybach I have, yeah. is a tiny little detail that literally a kid could do in five minutes, is they actually sand off the tuner heads. Okay. See, they, they still have the, in German we say Grat, yeah, yeah. like the little, uh, yeah. the little bit of a plasticky thing from, from, yeah, yeah. from 
from what is it from they don't feel that edge from, from the mold yeah. yeah and they really just go and they they shave that off they and feel like they have been used like for six yes years. Yeah, right. and that's a tiny little detail that they could probably be do, be doing on a belt yeah. sander yeah, 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 yeah. and if they did that i mean it's not important at all mm -hmm. but it, it's all the little tiny details which are totally right on these guitars I, i'm a nerd like that too i also sometimes use some some sanding paper to yeah, to, 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 to work on some edges like I sometimes had them them here on a, on a, on uh, on on this this uh, pickup. What do you call it? Pickup ring ramen? ring pickup ring pickup yep. ring mm? pickup. In Germany, it's pickup ramen and uh, pickup uh, ring. It's pickup ring. And um, of course, what I sometimes do if uh, the saddle is a bit sharp on the edges, yeah, yep. I just take sanding paper and. Yeah. Um, I love the color, by the way. The color of the hardware, yeah. it's not black, but it's that That's, what that was also my, my as we were saying to, German. To, to, let's say to have a, like a gray black guitar and to find a, 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 a good looking hardware for it. So I, I choose this black chrome. Yeah. It feels like that's not 100% matching. That's that's right, and this is not original. <laughs> because, oh, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm a guitar nerd, and, and uh, how to say, not that the, the original Go To A Bridge uh, is, is not perfectly working or not perfectly sounding, but every guitar sounds a little different, is resonating a little different, and, and uh, I, I felt personally for this guitar, um, I, I wanted to have a bridge uh, with brass. Uh, uh, Riders, riders, no, no saddles, it's not, it's not, saddles, 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 not ri or, riders. Or for, riders is great. Wait for all French viewers, <laughs> le saddles, le, le saddle. <laughs> oh, oui. oh, le saddle. Oui. Um, the pick guard. Yes. You like uh, pickguards on LP type guitars? Yes and no. Because it's the first thing I freaking take off. Yeah. I wish they wouldn't put it on there so I don't have the stupid hole. Yes and no. It all depends on on the angle of the neck. So the, uh, I, I have many Les Pauls, especially old ones, where, where the really the, 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 the bridge is up here mm -hmm. because the neck angle is, is really, yeah. Um, and, and for these guitars, I always use uh, uh, these, the, these pickguards because I always have my little finger on, on Ah, on this, because I'm like, why would you be careful? Yeah, so I always, you don't I care always about, have to have contact with the guitar. You don't care about scratching up the guitar. You, no, you care. no. Ah, no. okay, so, so, so I, I, I don't do that, that's why. And it, and it also depends on what I play. I've also had this guitar without a pickup, the same guitar, yeah, the, the same <laughs> guitar. I used the same guitar, uh, exactly this one, without the pickup for a few things that I was playing. And, but, yeah, at the moment, it sometimes also changes. I feel more comfortable with this guitar with a pickup included. It yeah. would, it's always the first thing I yeah. take off, except on the LS30 I have, because that has to go back. Mm, I'm a very sorry. So I can't. I feel very sorry. I, but, but the expert flame doesn't. It's mine. It's yours. It's, it's mine. Yours. It's yours. And look, look how pretty it is. Then you can, then you could, then you can screw a pickup. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to show them how pretty it is. Come on. Because Torsten picked a good one. He's a good expert flame picker. And that's not a Les Paul at all. It's, it goes in, this, in the direction, but it's, of course, a, an evolution of, of that kind of guitar. Um, I love the idea, and I really want to experiment with that, that you can actually go string through body on this. Yes, that's right. Um, and then through here, or, of course, standard. And I really want to see whether or not I can tell the difference. I don't know if I will. There's a big difference for, for all guitar players who really take care for string tension. So especially when you tune down a guitar, uh, we now for live situations, we, we tune down all, uh, all instruments a semitone down. Because uh -huh. when I sing a lot for two hours live, uh, 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 it's easier for me a semitone down. And if you, for Avantasia, for example, we tune a full tone down. So, and, and with guitars, with a, with a, uh, with a short, uh, scale. Scale. Short scale. They have about two and a half young trouts. This is how we on my channel talk about scales. Okay. Fish scales, two and a half young trouts. Okay. If you use a short scale, uh, you sometimes have a problem when you use like strings that I have. It's just like medium strings, mm -hmm. uh, uh, 10 to 246. Um, that especially the low strings don't really feel right anymore. They don't, uh, uh, they don't stay really good in tune. And that's, that's a really good thing if you put them 
through the body. You have way more string tension. Especially oh. for the low strings, See, I don't so know. I it's don't know way things. easier to tune down a guitar to maybe like like drop C mm. or whatever. I love that these these necks are sanded off yeah, and that yeah. they're natural. Um, it's just come on, people. That's a gorgeous guitar. Um, so, uh, hey, didn't you say that on different songs you were gonna play different FJN guitars? Of course, I will. Because that makes it easier for me, so I don't have to produce tracks for the videos. Yes, of course. I will now take the Telecaster there. Yeah, no. No, but you have uh, you play different guitars. Yeah. Of course, of course. Switch it up. Yeah, of course. Because you're here to make life easier for me. Excuse me, I didn't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna put this back on the wall, and then you guys play more songs with different guitars. So, so first of all, I have to drink some water. It's this. It's really important to drink lots of water. Yeah. I come running with the water. He doesn't even care. What a rock star attitude he has. Huh? What a freaking rock star me? attitude. You mean, you mean this guy? No, no, his, no. This me, one. me. His me. One. Thank you. Isn't it, the, the it, isn't it the more tattoos you have, the more rock star attitude you, you buy? Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. thank you. Yes, okay. yes absolutely. You can, you can go off. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's piss off. That's what you say. Why is this so bright there? This doesn't make sense. I have to adjust that monitor. Things that bug me. I'm hungry. Can I have yeah. um, as my grandfather used to say, uh, fuck you. <laughs> That's what my grandfather used to say. My mother didn't say it, but uh, she wanted to say it. So, uh, this next song we have is also from our actual album, Hands on the Wheel. But for this one, I have to tune down the guitar to drop D. And give me a second to find the right sound. This is... <laughs> That's the problem when using uh, single coils in a studio uh, with neon light. It's always a problem. But... <laughs> So as, as you can hear, there's a little bit of hum yeah, due to the single coil, but don't care. It's all about the music. So this next one is called uh, Soulmates. It's a long time since we didn't play it. Uh-huh. So uh, <laughs> is that right? A two do, or do, four? We, do we play Soulmates now or uh, do we play I, another I song? Know. Ah, no, I, we play another song. Ah, ah, ah. But the tuning is still right. I'm uh, thankful uh, we, that. We, we decided... <laughs> on <laughs> at this moment to play a song from our second album that ah. is called Home and the song is called The Sun is Still Rising oh yes of course for this one we don't need a phaser yeah. yes okay. okay there we go Ah, we need. Uh, ah. ah, ah, there's reverb. Yeah. <laughs> Mario, the the the, the, the feel good reverb. Four. <laughs> All you people out there. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. 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 One, two, three, four. <laughs> You're telling me the whole world's crashing down on you That life is senseless anyway That I couldn't understand cause I'm not in your shoes And there is nothing left to say That it's up to you 
will change your destiny. We we'll see the sun still rising, surrounding me with warmth and with light. You could make the whole world turn in with just a little faith deep inside. It's so hard and so unfair That everybody does you harm I couldn't understand that everything is fair Why don't you try to move your arms Hold on for a moment To hold them on to me Step out to the other side and see that it's up to you to sing out your own words and to me. I could see the sun still rising, surrounding me with warmth and with light. You could make the whole world turn in to just a little faith deep inside. The sun is still rising. Leslie, if you could, if you did the Hubble. Leslie, if you please could go to an angle that shows me right now. Yeah, the moving camera. Good idea. I just wanted to, to give a shout out to Jonas again, because uh, holy crap, now that I fixed m my mistake, uh, he's doing a killer job. You guys can't hear that because you're hearing your in-ear mixes, but what they're hearing out there is, is phenomenal. Like, uh, it's uh, when when I hear in, when I poke my ears into the live stream, it's killer, and people are you know commenting that. So thank you, really am amazing job. If I had to do this, can you turn up my my vocals on, on the ear? Just a little, just a little. Of course, yeah. If I had to do this uh, at the same time, I, it it just would be impossible. Just not gonna happen. So I'm very very happy that he's here, and apparently those guys from Abbey Road Institute know what they're doing. Who would have thought? Um, I also forgot to mention uh, Dark Last, by the way. Oh, no, we did. We had the mug. Aren't they smart sending a mug because that way they get mentioned? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. They also send the pedal, by the way, which is giving us the bass okay. sound. So, uh, okay. yeah, but the mugs, you know, let's talk about the mugs some yeah, more. Let's talk about the mugs. <laughs> yeah, oh, come on. Who, who cares about fucking instruments? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, this, uh, what, what, uh, that, that's, that, look at, look how pretty that is. I look at it. Wow. Look at this guitar. No, it's, it's really beautiful. Um, this is the first guitar that FGN uh, really made for me personally. Uh, because, because you can't I, get that with the P90 usually, right? That's no. a custom thing. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, uh, when I first started to produce the, the experts for the German market, um, they were using this kind of combination. They don't do it anymore, unfortunately. But uh, this was a combination that was perfect working for me. And uh, the only difference to the normal series model is that I have a switch here uh, to split the, the humbucker to a single coil and to lower the wiring from for the P90. Oh, yeah. Let me ask you something on the expert flame. Don't don't between us. Don't don't you wish that the that the tuner heads were a little bit smaller? The tuner heads. They're a little bit big. I, I don't know. That's the, that's the normal typical Goto tuner you have. It's it, it, it feels a little bit oversized. Yeah. Okay. I think. You think? Yeah, hmm. the headstock in, in general is, is is pretty pretty big, which is it's, cool. It's I love a, the it's a, it's a I, big, lo big I head love head. the sh shape of the headstock, but I think they could rein it in with smaller tuner heads. We're discussing about to shrinking it maybe a bit, but it's it's it's. it's perfect Other than working. that, I think this is an. I mean, the way that you can't see this, guys, but the way they rounded off the fret ends, it yeah. has a flame maple freaking binding, which you only see on guitars. 4,000, 5,000 euro that's, and up. That's something only the expert guitars or this model, because this is really a, the top state of the art model of, of FGN. Rounding these, these uh, frets and everything is really perfect. But we're talking about a guitar that can be bought for about 2,000 bucks. That's right. We're talking that's about right. the we're top of the line. 4, yeah, euros, yeah, and the rounding of the, of, uh, rounding of the fret uh, edges, I have only seen in Framus Master Build, they're about 6 to 7K. In my Baruman guitars, where it's a yeah. luthier in Texas all by hand, yeah. uh, also in the you know three and a half to four thousand k range, and oh, uh, uh, you are who are cool. I don't know. I never say. I think Sword do that too, and other ones. No? Not sure. No? I don't. I don't know. Okay. I know that even PRS on their private stock models don't yeah. round off the frets like that, okay. and they're like fifteen grand guitars. So okay. doing this on a guitar for two grand is is a detail that we really have to point out because that has to be done by hand. Really, that's what I want to say. It's really hell of a job to do it because it can't really uh, be done by machine. Someone's sitting there that's for two to three hours doing it yeah. very carefully yeah. because it's, the frets are already in yeah. and you could... This is, these details matter. And this guitar for that price is amazing, even Absolutely. if the tuner heads are a little bit too big, if you ask me. But then again, what do I know? I'm, I'm, I'm just Sometimes saying. Sometimes you win. I'm, Sometimes I'm, you win. I'm just saying. Um, that song seriously rocked, by the way. Um, so uh, people are happy, we're happy, we, we'll talk a little bit less now. Um, but I don't want to alienate all the other guys, by the way. So um, let's no, talk to the drummer. Let's talk to the drummer. That's what just wanted to say. Talk to the drummer about his gear, about his work, and, and everything yeah, else. Yeah, and no, I, will, I no. will pick up another coffee. What? Aris, come on, come on here, Rene. Uh, me? Yeah. Jonas, can you open up his mic? Sit, uh, sit down. I oh. want to talk to you about what the fuck is this? Okay. But he's, he's, not, he's not speaking French, so... It's, it's Le French, by the way. Le French. Le French. Le French. So, so now... So when you bought your drum kit... I, when I bought my drum kit... Or when you got your drum kit, because of course you're a freaking, you know, little fanboy of whatever brand that is. <laughs> I don't know, what is that? That is... That is um, a Ludwig classic maple kit mm -hmm. with all maple shells, really thin maple shells for great resonance. What drugs were you on when you picked that bass drum? Uh, Admit it, you were all, not sober. All, all, <laughs> all, all, all drugs. No, it's, uh, the reason is uh, it's because of my, um, I grew up with all these classic rock guys. Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, all that stuff, and all the drummers in this '70s era was they were playing big bass drums with a huge sound and. Uh, I I love the sound. I love the look. But were you thinking about having to move it? 
to move. Oh, what 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 was that? It was the battery. That was my battery or my India belt. What the crap? <laughs> we have to talk to Tuman about that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it did, I didn't, that I that didn't, didn't happen. You. That didn't happen. Ah, okay. I had no idea what happened. Um, were, Be- were you thinking about having to move that around when you picked it? Or was it not? Did you not think about, oh, I'm actually going to have to get that in my car on the stage? Did you think about moving it at all? No, it's not so much different beca- if you move a, a 26 inch bass room or a 22 inch bass room in your station wagon or something like that. It's not, it's not so much. No, 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 no. It's not, not really? so much really the, the kit is, this is by far the biggest setup that I play on every show. I only play one bass drum, one rack drum, two floor drums. Sometimes one floor drum and two crashes or three crashes. And it's a way simple and basic. It's, uh, yeah, it's... It, it's it, not a giant kit, but it's a freaking giant kit. Yeah, it is. Uh, and, in, bo- and in both ways, yeah. And let me ask you something. <laughs> is your high tom... On a modified snare stand. Yes, yes that's yeah. <laughs> why, 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 why is that? Yeah, it's an old school. It's an old school, old school thing. Old, 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 well, old is school that thing. something you, drummers really did? Uh, in the early days, they did. Um, for live in in studio during the recordings, it's not so. The engineers are oh no no please no Tom on the snare stand, snare stand because of the resonant and the sustain. Lo- you have a longer sustain when it's... Ah, when it's so it's not because you're too cheap to buy a t- Tom stand, it's actually, it has tonal... It has a tonal, yes, yes, yes. If, yeah, if you have uh, a stand to hang it, then uh, it, you uh, have a better, a little bit, it's, it's, it's minimal. It's not a, it's, it's minimal. For life, it doesn't so, matter. So you go as old school as you possibly can? Yes, yes, um, I'm an old school guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna comment yeah, on yeah. that. With this, look at it. Mm-hmm. Look at this sideburns, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nowadays, kids, of course, are gonna gonna say, "What you you like X Men?" X Men. Yeah, yeah. I had a little because bit it's a little bit of similar, the Wolverine yeah. look. It's, you know yeah, that, yeah, right? It's, okay. It's it is. I'm just saying. It is. I'm sorry. <laughs> and 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 then again, <laughs> trying to look like Hugh Jackman probably gets you laid a lot. Yeah, you jackass. Uh, <laughs> I just I, I have no idea. You can say whatever you want. Okay. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm very, very, very happy with the sound of the shells. I'm a proud Ludwig and Dorsey since, I don't know, 15 years or something like that. I mean, we are only miking this with a, don't ask me the model, the big ass Lewitt kick drum thing, uh, Lewitt M- MTP, I want to say 440 on the snare, which is pretty much like an SM57 ish kind of a mic, which is pretty much what you put on a snare. You know? Yeah. And uh, the LCT 340s, and all you're hearing is four mics. And I know you're probably not super happy that we don't do individual toms, which would probably give this a little bit bigger sound because if we had the channels available, yeah, yeah, yeah. we could do that, yeah. but we would have also had to have the time. Um, but with what I heard, with four mics, this kit sounds freaking insane. Yeah, it's, just, uh, it's, it's, it, it's totally enough. I guess. Ne- next time, next time around, and I hope I have you guys back. Uh, PreSonus is sending the new NSB sixteen eight, which gives for that uh, uh, mixer I have gives me an extension of sixteen channels. Yeah. So that means that tiny little mixer will be a thirty two channel mixer. And yeah, you know what? We're gonna go individual toms because we have the mics. Lou, it's cool. Yeah. And we'll we're gonna go and do the full thing just for you. It is enough for this room. Is is enough to have this complete room sound with all with this uh, overheads. And what I heard on, on the live stream sounded great. It's, it's cool. It's enough. It's, it's not like this is a quiet drum no, no, set. It's sounding, <laughs> it's, no, no, that, of course. It's sounding like a, a drum set, not five or six, seven single Andy, drums, you know? This like is actually one of the... Let, let, me, let me see what, what you say or think about that. When you hear these recordings and the toms really go... Doo, 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 doo. Yes. You as a drummer don't really hear it that way, right? No. Because you're A, so close to them, and you don't go and turn your head like this. Or Andy Johns, of course, you know, Led Zeppelin producer, he, he said when, when, when he was asked about all the Tom Penny, he said, oh, I don't do that because the drummer doesn't hear it that way. 
the toms don't come from over there and then over there. Mm -hmm. They're pretty much for the drummer. They're kind of right in front of him. Yeah. Um, so I don't go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. He pretty much keeps it tight. Uh, uh, same with you know cymbals and stuff. He keeps it a lot tighter in the stereo spectrum than a lot of people do. And every time I hear that big tom roll now going from left to right, I go like, Andy wouldn't have done that. No. I know. It's so, so he did. He, he did uh, this, the same simple thing. This was kick, snare, two overheads, maybe one microphone he, for both floor toms in ten, ten inch or maybe more. Uh, big room sound, you know. Yeah. He, when when they asked him about uh, uh, when when the levy breaks, and I've got to say I'm not a big Led Zeppelin fan. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? But, I <laughs> but but that is like the drum sound that people talk about. Yeah, it's yeah, this yeah. big, huge drum sound. And how was it done? It was a big ass room. It was a big stairwell. You know, the one that goes left and right up in yes. in, in, in a big mansion. Yeah. And it was all marble. It was one of the rooms where you would never want to record drums because it's just too big and reverberant. Yeah. And the drums were at the bottom of the stairs, and on the middle of the stairs, they had two room mics done. There was yeah. no close miking. Obviously, what you don't get is that thumping low end kick from no. the kick drum, no. because in that case, the drum, the kick drum will sound more like a low tom. Yes, the whole tuning uh, of John Bonham was he tuned a 14 inch rack tom, and this was like a 10 inch tom, and he, he tuned the, the kick. It was close, no mic in front, uh, uh, no hole, one mic there for the low end, one mic there for the kick sound. It was uh, uh, two mics and, the, and the, uh, the tuning was very, very high because of the, uh, it was from the 30s, 40s when the, the drummers play in big bands and had 10 horn players and s four, 40 guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the drums should be so loud to go through the horns. Yeah, yeah. Mi mixing was done with the actual instruments. And then they had big, big, big sizes of shells and tuned them high to have a better projection to yeah. through through the horns. That was John Bonham's tuning style, and then he he did with uh, three or four microphones the whole sound, and it was always. A huge thundering sound. Not it was not so in the eighties that the sound all it was changing. All did low tuning and close mm -hmm. miking and. Uh, but but let's have in, in in those bands they had to pick the room. Mics is the drums is all about the room you're yes, in. Yes yes you yes. You can't fake that. You can't go into a small basement no. and your practice room and say I'll do this with reverb later on. It doesn't. No, no, it, no, no. It, it doesn't work. The room is everything. And when I'm, when I'm mixing drums, the snare is really there for the impact, for the attack. Yes. The actual snare sound, that's room mics, that's overheads. Yes. If you take these away, all you have is this. But you don't actually have the snare sound that we love. Yeah. Yeah, that bloom of the snare, that's all in the room mics. And if you don't have that, that's why above me, in the room above me, that's a, you haven't seen that. No. You have to see my drum room. Oh, okay. That's a six meter high room. Yeah, that's It's perfect, exactly yeah. this room, but it's six meters high that's with a wooden floor. I could set this up upstairs, but then for the, for the, for the live stream, you'd be playing purely by in-ears because you wouldn't see the band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. we could get the kick-ass drum sound because yeah, I yeah. could have room mics literally four or five meters above you. Yeah. I've, yeah, I've, that's, I've, that's great. Yeah, I've yeah. recorded drums up there and it sounds phenomenal. <sighs> But having the whole band up there, I can't do. I would only have the drummer up there, and I don't know if I want to split up the band mm, for mm. these things. Um, let me know what you think about that. Um, and I have to talk to drummers if they'd be you know, cool being away from the band. I can set up two cameras, but again, all the communication would have to happen purely by ear. Yeah. I don't know if that's... Uh, it's uh, when you... A touring band who uh, do a lot of shows, then I think it's no problem. They uh, in shape all on the stage, and but if you play uh, songs, new songs, or uh, yeah, it's uh, you have a little bit more uh, communication when you in one room. Yeah, I yeah. mean this is the the band in a room, and yes. it's cool. Yeah, it, it would be kind of cool to like you know cut to the cameras of you in this big, empty, big-ass room. It would be a different kind of feel. It would be, you know, a, a huge sound. Yeah. But 
also a huge undertaking. And again, I would take you away from the band, which is kind of not getting the whole band feel mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Maybe next time I'll, I'll, I'll try to get you guys yeah, back in Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. You're drinking all my coffee, I have to buy more coffee. <laughs> but that's okay. That's, the, that's, really, that's literally all they're getting paid, coffee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, coffee. I don't even know what kind Fresh pot coffee, fresh pot. Yeah. Um, yeah, what, uh, what can I say? Uh, secondly, I'm uh, a lucky guy to... Paisty guy since uh, 15 years. Is that how you say that, by the way? Paisty? Yeah? Yes. Because I never know. Yeah, it's uh, Paisty. In, in English, it's Paisty. Yes? Where are they from? Switzerland. It's a uh, Swiss company who was uh, originally from Russia. First uh, symbols were from Russia. Then they moved to uh, Switzerland. And all the handmade symbols are manufactured in Switzerland, in Nordville, Switzerland. And all the mid-range and cheap uh, models are in Germany, Hamburg. They're, po they're, <laughs> polished, they're polished by uh, Hugh Jackman. Yes. Really? Jack yes. Human. Jack Human. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah, yeah. and their cheap stuff is done in Germany. That's, yeah, yeah. That's what Should we take an human, insult? Human polish? Yes. Yeah, human, polish. human polish, yes, yes. Wow. Go and play another song, you people. <laughs> You make me talk to the drummer. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank, of course. Thank you for that, man. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I absolutely love the sound of this. I don't like that it's in here because it's too big, but <laughs> it, it's cool. It's you <laughs> one. It's thank cool. you. I mean, I mean people uh, out there, uh, uh, the band is called Hartmann because it's my last name. But of course, the most important musician in a band is always the drummer. Yeah? Hey. <laughs> it's the drummer. <laughs> what can I say? Hey, let me yeah. fix the camera. He can break or make a band. Okay. But of course, that's true. If uh, uh, if a guitar player fucks up in between, or a singer or a bass player, it doesn't matter that it, that much. If uh, a drummer fucks up, and he fucks up big time sometimes, <laughs> 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 you're fucked. <laughs> you're fucked! Yeah. Okay, this next song we're going to play is, uh, again, from the actual record, uh, Hands on the Wheel. And it's a ballad, and it's called Soulmates. People come and people go Some may break our hearts and souls we don't leave and we forget all the hurts and tears we shed. Oh, 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 it may happen to you, it may happen. Peace. 
Is this the end of love? 